Okay, this is a surface tension test of FlexArts Dyne Ink Dyne Level 38 with an expiration date of February 7th, 2015, using a Denoy tensiometer. The dial is zeroed out. The mirror line with the rod is lined up. Clean petri dish, and the arm is raised all the way up to the top. We're going to pour the ink solution into the petri dish, so it's just below the level line. Put aside. I'm going to adjust the arm so that the ring is just below the surface of the ink. And I'm going to lower the arm so that there's some tautness on the dish, showing where they're the line is still lined up and we can start turning the dial for the tension while still lowering the arm raising the tension lowering raising lowering raising and we're going to start looking to see where we start seeing the bubble break which it breaks and it's showing a 39 which is one below which is a 38 so we have an accurate solution now we're going to take a sample of our competitors and see how uh, theirs compares against the accuracy of ours. We're going to zero out the dial, so zero, zero. Our arm lever is all the way up and we need to clean the Denoy ring. We'll dry it off a little bit flame it so there's no contamination from one thing to another. Put it back on the arm. New Petri tree dish. This is our competitors at a 38 dyeing level solution. Expires December of this year, 2014. Take the top off. Pour it into just below the line. Put it aside. Let's put the cap on. Okay, so we're going to raise it so it's right below the line surface. We will start drawing down the thing to get tautness, and we do have tautness on it. Start turning our dial, lowering, more tension, it's starting to pull. And as you see, there's a showing, it's always one line behind the level, and there's a 43, so it's actually a 42. So theirs is at least four dines higher than the dine solution that they advertise.